my man. Hey, you made a permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way, my way, my way. Your hips on the move, only a real one can do what you do. I caught a body, but you was the shooter. Damn. Shot me down one time, one time. Wanna hug me down a long time. Funny how the love can change sometimes. So we say, hey, pack up the bag. Guys, welcome to another video. So today we are here for a workout. So I have Chris joining me, Team Spartanomics, come on. So today is my workout. It's one of my upper body sessions. So at the moment I have three upper and two lower. So one of the upper body sessions is more kind of shoulders and arms, and the other two are just kind of a mix of upper. So this is one of the mixed upper ones. We've got a little bit of pulling, a little bit of pushing, a little bit of arms, and a little bit of delts as well. So I'll be taking Chris through the session. He hasn't actually done this one yet. So uh, the exercises are kind of simple, but we've got a few kind of different intensifiers and stuff in there as well that will uh, be a little bit different for him. But uh, I've been, what I've been working with lately and has been progressing quite nicely. And even though I'm quite deep into the cut now, I've been maintaining strength and performance pretty well on this. So this should be quite a good one. Uh, so at the moment we're both now two weeks from our holiday so we've both been cutting a little bit for that me obviously a little more aggressively than Chris because four weeks after that I've also got a competition so of course we're at slightly different stages and slightly different intensity of the cut um, so uh, how's your cut going? Yeah it's pretty good actually today was, you've, you've, we've, we've done this at a very good time I literally woke up this morning I was 82 on the dot which is about seven kilos down from where I started, I won't tell you the start date, it has been a little while, but as a non-competitor, I'm more than happy to take my time and do it sustainably and without killing myself. So I'm pretty happy with how mine's going, but I'm scared you're gonna whoop my ass today. There's been, there's been a lot there's been a lot of messages uh, to and fro about getting to the 82 mark, so I'm glad we're finally there. Mm. Uh, and for me, I was, uh, obviously I started to cut at 103, and now I'm, uh, I was 90.1 this morning. Uh, and the aim is to hopefully by the end of the week get down sub 90 so we shall see we've got a low day tomorrow and then a couple of higher days on the weekend uh, but anyway next we got a little pre here of course we actually both picked the same one we got the effective elite pre so we'll have a little taste test and then we'll have a little review after the session of how it went so this is what flavor is this Blue, uh, was it blue, blue something, blue, blue <laughs> kind of slushy sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. you can see the acid blue color. That's yeah. what we need to know. It smells a little bit like chemically, but actually smells quite nice as well. Mm. But, okay, let's see. That's good. Mm. It tastes way better than it smells, which I feel like is usually the opposite of most pre-workouts. It's got kind of that classic pre-taste if that's a thing <laughs> but i know what you mean <laughs> it's also very very smooth there's like mm. no bitterness or anything to that so that's kind of what makes a pre for me is that mm. kind of smoothness but that's good yeah i hear that so um yeah mm. now normally with pre's like i'm not that worried about the flavor i'm worried about what it does for me what it's going to do for my session but i still actually have to drink it so <laughs> if it tastes like sewage it's not going to be enjoyable and I'm going to be like heaving before my session but this no such problems yeah. smooth is probably one of my biggest factors when I personally consider what I like in a pre-workout if it goes down easy mm -hmm. well, especially if you're going to sit there and sip it and you know all of that stuff before the session which I know you like to do um, somewhat famous so, for that let's get into it so we'll finish this and we'll mm. test it out we'll get into the gym and then we'll catch you at them So first up, we have the warm up. So we both do the same warm up really for our upper body sessions. And the goal really is just to mobilize all the parts that we're gonna be using throughout the session. So we've got the cat camel first, that's gonna mobilize uh, when we're on the straight arm one, we're gonna mobilize the lumbar spine. When we're on the elbows in the second variation, we shift the emphasis a little bit higher up. So we're mobilizing the mid spine, so kind of thoracic spine. The scapular push up is gonna do the work for the shoulder blades and the scapula. 
uh, and then we've got the T-spine rotation, which again, just getting uh, a little bit more mobilization for the uh, mid and upper spine. So the next phase of the warm up is our activation and core work. So we both start with a little bit of core work, again, just gonna help stabilize the spine and prepare it for the session ahead. So we've got the bird dog, which is to build a bit of endurance and again, some kind of stiffness that's gonna carry over throughout the session uh, for the lower back. Uh, and then for, we've got the side plank that we both do to uh, give a little bit of, again, for the same kind of idea really, to so build a little bit of stiffness and endurance for the lateral part of the core. Uh, and then I use a push-up that's gonna work a little bit at the front of the core and because it's up a body session, it also just prepares the shoulders uh, and everything in the pec. So the next part of the activation sequence is some more shoulder specific work. So for me, I'll start with a band dislocate, which is just working on some uh, mobilization of the shoulders through some different range, uh, as well as kind of preparing the shoulder blades and the shoulder joints for the session ahead. Then we move into the band pull apart, which is gonna work on some retraction of the shoulder blades. So kind of pulling the shoulders back, which, and also getting a little bit of blood flow into the mid back. And, and then my third movement here, I do some external rotation. So that's just preparing the rotator cuff uh, and the shoulder joint through some different range. So I do it both just by my side and then with the shoulder abducted. Chris is a little bit more kind of prehab work almost, uh, just to prepare for some shoulder instability and issues that uh, he's found that definitely help him within the session by doing these movements. So he has the band ISO holds first, then he takes that position and moves it into some band wall walks where he's keeping that same kind of position, keeping the wrist and elbow stacked. So next we move to the mechanical loading part of the session. So we're starting with the upper back row. So for this one, in terms of the reps and sets, we've got three working sets of six to 10 reps. So we have a few ascending warm up sets to get into those working sets. Uh, and we're working in an eight to 10 RPE. So we're starting at an eight on the first set where we're keeping a few reps in the tank. And then with each set, we're adding, moving to a nine and a 10 to the last set, moving to failure. And on the last set, we also have some intensifiers. So we've got, uh, we cut the reps back a few. And then we, what we do is we add 30% of the load um, on top of that. And then we just do some partial reps to failure. So the next exercise, we move to some chest work with a machine chest press. So very similar to the upper back row in terms of rep and set scheme. So we've got some ascending warm up sets, moving into three working sets, eight to 10 RPE again, uh, six to 10 rep range. So on the last set, again, another intensifier where we superset the last set with some dumbbell flies, just partials to failure. Then move on to some lateral delt work. So we've got the cross cable cuffed lateral raise, training the side delts in a more lengthened position. In terms of reps and sets, we've got three sets, eight to 12, again, a nine to 10 RPE. So working one off or two failure. And on our last set, we're working to failure and then adding partials on top of that. So we're going kind of beyond failure with whatever we got left in the tank. Next up, we've got some bicep work. So we've got the low cable curl and that's performed unilaterally. So just one side at a time. And that's just to make sure that we're doing the same thing on both sides and being able to match the reps. So if you've got a stronger side, then start with a weaker side and then match the reps up on your stronger side. So in terms of our sets and rep scheme here, we've got three sets of 15 to 20, working at a nine to 10 RPE. So we're working close to failure and then failure. And on the last set, we're doing partials to failure just to empty the tank where we've got left. Lastly, we move into an exercise for the triceps. So working in the more mid range, we've got the weighted dip. So we're starting with one set of 10 to 15, and then we increase the load for the next two sets where we're working in the six to 10 rep range. Uh, and then we increase the RPE as well. So on the first one, around a seven to eight RPE. On the next two sets, we're working at a nine to 10 RPE. So we're going towards failure. Uh, and this time, no intensifiers in the end. So just three uh, hard working sets getting close to failure. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I've been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. 
I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my ring. Wrapped up. So for me, that's a standard session I've been doing. So, uh, but but good today. Good performance. Managed to uh, get a few more reps um, on some of the working sets and a few more partials as well. So, good progression still, despite being quite deep into the cut now and only like six weeks out. So that's pretty cool for me. Chris, how did you find this session? You haven't done it before. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It kind of it flowed quite nicely. Uh, so a few of the different things are like some of the intensifiers and stuff I don't usually have in my own program. So uh, that kept things quite fun actually. Like normally, normally when I'm just going through the motions, it can get quite boring, but these added a nice change to the session that kind of kept me engaged, which is uh, several years into my training career, a very good thing. Yeah. So I can't complain. Very nice. Mm. And, uh, and the pre, how did you find the pre? Uh, what was it, effective we had? Effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. effective was very decent. Uh, I've so did a little review on Insta before, I think. Uh, it tastes very nice. Like, I don't necessarily love the flavor, but smooth and with the performance really can't complain to be honest i had good energy throughout it's relatively decent pump i'm trying to look at my delt here to see if you can tell but um but no uh, no complaints really so what about yeah. you no yeah the same i like taste but uh performance wise like i said i was i've been good mm -hmm. uh, i had some good energy throughout and like i said improved uh, on last week again as well so stim was good had good focus throughout so I'm liking this one. I guess yeah, we'll have to get too. a review up soon. Mm, pending. Yeah, we'll finish the whole tub and then we'll get that review up. Yeah, you need to finish the whole tub, really. Exactly. Anyway, that is a wrap for today and that is a wrap for this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And until next time, peace.